As concerns over the climate crisis continue to escalate and extreme weather becomes more common, experts are warning that we may be much closer to the point of no return than we previously thought. CBS News recently reported that according to several climate crisis experts, changes are happening faster than what was expected and the chances of hitting tipping points in the climate system now seem much more likely and more immediate. But no matter what you believe about climate crisis, the real issue is not if we are close to hitting the tipping point or if the earth is doomed and we're doomed with it. The real question is why are we here in the first place? Our universe has been around for approximately 14 billion years. Earth has existed for approximately 4.5 billion years, and life on Earth began a few hundred million years after Earth was formed. We have evolved from atoms to molecules, from molecules into unicellular creatures, and from unicellular creatures to the countless forms of life on Earth, in the water, on land, and in the sky. It is only in the last few hundred thousand years that man has emerged. Gradually, we have become the rulers of the planet, exploiting its resources, its vegetation, polluting the air, the soil, and the water, only to gain power and wealth. The question we must answer is, what is our purpose on this earth? If we were to honestly answer this question, not only would we end these destructive practices, but we would resolve all our problems and save the planet and all the life on it. Over the past several decades, we have employed countless regulations and methods in an attempt to curb emissions, decrease pollution, and diminish our negative impact on the planet. None of these tactics has had a real lasting effect, but even more tragic than exploiting our planet and all life on it, we are exploiting each other. Our mistreatment of each other indicates that the problem is far more systemic and deeply rooted and will not be solved by simply switching to renewable energy, eliminating fossil fuels, or curbing deforestation. It is our basic human nature that causes all our problems. Unlike any other living creature on this planet, humans are exploitative, cruel, and abusive to each other, and to all living creatures and the planet we call home. In fact, we are so heartless that we cannot restrain our greed even when we know that what we are doing will destroy a healthy environment for all future generations. Instead of a home to live in, we are creating a planet-sized pile of trash. But there is still hope. At the beginning of the coronavirus outbreak, during the first worldwide lockdown, multiple examples of nature's resilience from around the world proved that Earth is much stronger than we thought. And when man's interference is removed, can recover even from prolonged human exploitation. Therefore, if we solve our one problem, human nature, the rest of nature will quickly recover and planetary balance will be restored. Changing human nature may seem impossible at first, like the proverbial leopard changing his spots. However, we can learn from nature how things can change according to their environment. Adaptability is key to the survival of any species. Everyone who lives in a cruel environment is forced to be cruel, even if they are not cruel by nature. But if we create an atmosphere of friendliness, mutual responsibility, and caring, our nature will adapt to that positive environment and will make positive changes. To save ourselves and our planet, our sole focus should be on changing our social environment from hostile to friendly from abusive to considerate. Everything else will quickly follow. Moreover, transforming our inherent nature will reveal to us realms we cannot even imagine right now. As long as we are focused only on ourselves, all we see is ourselves. But the purpose of our existence is to grow far beyond ourselves, to grasp all of reality, to understand on the deepest level why we exist, why there are life and death, creation and destruction, and how everything is connected. Only if we start thinking of each other will we stop thinking of ourselves, and only if we stop thinking of ourselves 
will we start perceiving the world around us as it truly is, a perfectly balanced system of life. This is why the one question we should ask in order to secure our lives, the well-being of the planet, and even our happiness is, why are we here?